Hey everybody, how's it going? Today is May 12th, 2022. It is a Thursday, so let's take a look at the news. I know this is late once again, but you know, please excuse the later in the day version of the news. Um, of course, the Konang collab is active and winding down, so make sure you don't miss out if you still want to do some extra pulls or you are planning to finish up max lucking those monsters for the collab. You don't have that much time left. Um, the standard quest will end on May 15th, 11.59 a.m. Japan time. And this is an important fact. All of the Kaito Kid cards that you need to be able to play his quest will stop dropping at that time as well. So even if you time bell quests after 11.59 on May 15th, Japan time, you will not get any more card drops. However, you can still use those cards until 23.59 Japan time, right? So you have another 12 hours to use the cards, but for those 12 hours, you will not be able to get any more cards. So please make sure you are very careful about that. Um, there's no guarantees for how often you're going to get those drops from the quest. And, um, you know, you just don't want to end up short you know, short by a few uh, luck. So make sure you don't procrastinate on that. That's something you want to make sure you're safely done with um, before it goes away. Uh, also, do note that the daily searches, you know, where you get uh, those scrolls and stuff, uh, the last time you can activate a daily search will be May 14th, 2359. So it will not be available to start, you know, kick off another one after that point. So please be careful about that. And of course, if you want to finish the shooting range, quest where you're trying to get your monsters toward the middle of the target you have until may 15th 1159 to finish that um so again you know this gotcha collab is wrapping up so make sure you do not miss out for standard monster strike stuff we will be getting uncharted lands number 33 kyoten 33 sanji san uh that will happen on may 14th noon that's going to be very very soon so if you have finished all of the quests every session you will be able to get that newest quest we will be also getting a new gozetsu quest it features shanti here and i like the art a lot so looking forward to that new gozetsu quest that debut will be on may 19th 7 p.m japan time we are of course going to be getting a new event after the konan collab goes away we are going to see some uh i think some old characters in Japanese lore. Thankfully they have the readings for them on top of them that made my life easier. Uh, this event will start on May 15th noon Japan time. Uh, the first gacha monster we'll go over is Nukata no Okimi here in the fire element. She is a pierce balance type with super null warp, laser barrier, killer M, strike shot turn reducer. Those are the main and we've got null speed down wall and soul steel on the gauge. Strike shot is a 12 plus 8 speed and power up and activates a power field around her. Bump combo is a fire based rampage breath and the second bump combo is a super expanding pierce lock on shock wave. Um, I mean that's a pretty solid set. We got speed down wall and warps which is nice. You also get a killer on top. Of course laser barrier. Um, you know you're gonna have to see if that applies to the various monster but you also get soul steel which is a nice utility uh ability as well and yeah not bad pierce is always good too next monster we got nakatomi no Ka kamatari nakatamari kamatari uh her ability set is we got super null damage wall mind super m null magic circle those are all in the main and we also have repeat hit slayer l strike shot is an eight plus eight speed and power up and turns all hit enemies into a speed up mode which means the next time anybody hits those monster they function as you know like the the guy with the boot and you'll get a speed up out of that uh you'll also get a chozetsu homing 12 in the wood flavor as also you'll get some super bound bombs Bounce and power type. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Um, yeah, interesting skill set for sure. You get super damage wall, mind super M, and no magic circle. Um, I think that that is a solid combo of abilities for sure. And I, I like repeat hit slayer a lot. You can really get a nice satisfying uh, you know HP drain if you keep hitting that monster over and over. 
And then the last gacha monster in the new event will be Onono Imoko here in the dark element. And he is a pure speed type with super null damage wall, no warp. Uh, that's a ki Kibutsu, I think that was. It's the mech type and the vivolith type, uh, the Kobutsu type in Japanese. And that is a Slayer EL, which is nice. And you also get bump combo times two. All on the main, no gauge for Onono Imoko here. Uh, Strike Shot is an A plus A speed and power up, and he will return to the first location you hit an enemy after done moving. And the bomb combo is a static electricity bullet, right? You'll fire a bullet in the direction you push Onono Imoko, and if it hits an enemy, it'll also jump around. You also get a wall bomb, which is nice because you get to do that twice with the bomb combo times too. So this. And, you know, Onono Imoko looks definitely, definitely interesting here. You get that damage wall and warp. Uh, none of the newer ones, but newer ability nulls. But still, I think that's pretty... Overall, this is a pretty strong set of monsters, I think, for the upcoming gacha. Which is usually not a surprise after a collab gacha. Um, but if you still have not burned a hole in your wallet, you can spend 4,900 yen to pick up one of those three guaranteed with this paid pack. Uh, not only do you get one of those three, you also get 50 orbs in your pocket at the low price of 4,900 yen. Again, if you uh, are always on the fence, uh, you know, the exchange rate, at least from dollars to yen, has been quite nice recently. So uh, it might be a little bit cheaper than uh, in the past uh, if that is something you are interested in. Uh, the event monsters also look really nice, I thought. We've got Hino Emma here in the Dark Element. She's probably going to be the the more difficult quest. And you also get Tsuchigumo, uh, a cat spider, I guess. And then you got Roku, Roku Rokubi uh, in the water element. Uh, I guess you got a bunch of yokais for that. And uh, they have activated the luck bonus campaign for this event. If at any time you complete a quest where your monster will give you two, at least two additional chests at the end of the quest, the first one is guaranteed to be a boss drop. So it will make your life easier to max luck these characters, which is always nice to see. And it does make a huge difference to guarantee almost, what, five drops if you're playing with a full party, especially on Monster Strike Day. Uh, that is really, really helpful to get these quickly done. Uh, you can see that every monster, uh, the first three have at least two boxes. So that first one is a guaranteed boss drop. But that uh, fourth player only brought uh, Didora there, so you only get one chest. You don't get a bonus, a guaranteed bonus that way. The transcension Kai for this week is Mu. Uh, I really like using Mu. I still use him on that, uh, what the tower quest where you have to deal with poison. Uh, his ability, we got no teleport walls. Uh, I know I usually call it no warp walls, but I saw the wiki using teleport, and I guess it's much more easier on the eyes to see that it's not, you know, you don't easily mix it up with no warp. So. Uh, I think going forward, I will do, uh, I will, you know, conform to saying no teleport walls going forward. Um, the second ability is the Ajin Samurai Slayer. Uh, it is a standard Slayer, I believe. So Demi Hume and Samurai types will get that extra damage. You also get all element resist on the main. Only three abilities on the main. But if you activate his connect skill, which is Super Null Gravity Barrier and Gravity Barrier Slayer, you'll get those abilities. And the requirement is just having at least two different types than himself, which is a power type. So two non-power types is not going to be a problem, I think. So you should be good there to activate it at all times. Strike Shot is an 8 plus 8. will fire many exploding homing bullets. That's what you know we've seen before, so I don't think that's anything new. And Bump Combo is an all-enemy super poison meteor along with a Chozetsu Blast. Um, I mean, I guess it's a little unfortunate that his ability, you know, standard ability set only has three. But this is, you know, also something to look out for is we're probably going to have that buff list where a bunch of monsters start getting the null teleport walls. And having a monster like Mu to begin with when that wave of, you know, teleport wall quests start coming in will probably make a huge difference. We're going to have probably a difficult quest where he's going to shine these other monsters that start getting that wave of teleport walls, you know, it, it's going to make a difference in, in terms of at least uh, just not having a headache, you know, trying to clear these quests. So uh, 
right now you're not going to see him shine anywhere but i'm pretty confident that we're going to see a slow it's going to be slow a slow directive move to teleport walls and you've you've seen how annoying teleport walls can be so uh this is going to be important i feel like you know sooner than later um uh, and they added some extra details for x flag park so they've got some new alternate art for you know neo and uh was it was it uh canon i think right on the right um beautiful art but it it appears it's only for the goods that they're selling at the event there so unfortunately for those of us out of japan and they won't let us in still uh no luck for us um, and they also did announce that there's going to be a bunch of uh, or all of the already announced uh artists uh, that they have from the game will be performing at x flag park we'll see if they add somebody new which they tend to do so we'll see who else can get a band to play at the x flag park that is it so uh next news is going to be at the same time as usual on the 19th stay tuned here if i'm not you know barraged by a whole bunch of 7 a.m meetings for the week which i am suffering through right now uh hopefully i'll be able to take those videos at the end of the night but until then you know this will do You'll see the next Lucky Monsters. Hopefully you got at least Yamatake there on the bottom right. Uh, I think a lot of, you know, Holes Black was really good for a bunch of quests. And Da Vinci is a good oldie, uh, especially with the, uh, was it X version she had? So uh, we'll see. I don't know if I have enough for three this, this set, but I'm glad I had the three for the collab. So I'm good. Um, and that is it for me today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions with the latest news, let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer that for you. Otherwise, until next time, bye bye.